So maybe somebody can help me out here with the math, but when I look at um, meal plans and stuff that like keto and carnivore people are putting out there on the internet, it's not adding up. So, you know, they sit down and they eat like a whole bunch of beef and eggs and butter and bacon. Like that's their thing, right? Beef, beef, butter, bacon, eggs or some mantra. Um, what I want to know is how do you eat enough calories to maintain your muscle, your lean muscle, while you're trying to lose fat? I mean, that's the whole point, right? You want to lose fat. But if, if you lose lean muscle while you're losing fat, then you're actually making it harder to lose fat because the more lean muscle you have, the higher your basal metabolic rate is, meaning the more fat you're burning even just in a resting state with the calories that you're eating. So as you lose muscle, you have to drop calories. That's a rabbit hole. And my thought is, and I mean, you can correct me if I'm wrong, and that, that's fine. I just don't see how I'm wrong. Scientifically, it's proven that the human body really doesn't efficiently process much more than 30 to 35 grams of protein per meal. Less as you get older. So, let's say you sit down to a 10-ounce ribeye and uh, a, a tablespoon of butter and uh, two hard-boiled eggs or two fried eggs in bacon fat, okay? You're gonna have what, 75 to 80 grams of protein in that meal, okay? And then you're gonna have what, probably 60 or 70, maybe even more grams of fat, okay? About half of the protein that you're eating you're just gonna either piss out or get stored as fat. Because as I previously mentioned, and it's scientifically proven, so don't say I'm wrong, because I'm not wrong, it is a fact, the human body just cannot process much more than 30 to 35 grams of protein in one meal. Less as you get older. <coughs> so that's really only about a six ounce ribeye. No egg and no bacon. So you're getting about 120, <coughs> excuse me, 120 to 160 calories in, in protein in your meal. And then you're getting probably what? In a six ounce ribeye, what is it about? 18 to 20 grams of fat maybe? times nine, 180 calories. So you're talking 300 and something calories that you're actually consuming in a meal. And let's say you do that five times a day. That's still only what, 16 or 1700 calories. Now, you can say, no, we're not doing six ounce ribeyes, we're doing 10 ounce ribeyes. Okay, but you're just pissing it out. Or it's just being stored as fat. It's not being processed and shuttled to your muscles because the human body doesn't efficiently process much more than 30 to 35 grams of protein. So mathematically, how? So when I watch all these people on YouTube and stuff doing their, I lost so many pounds on carnivore, yay me. And I sit there and I shake my head because I'm like, yeah, but what pounds have you lost? Do you have a biometric scale to tell you how much muscle you've lost? Or you just don't care as long as the scale's going to the left, you're happy. And that's fine. But it's a rabbit hole if that's the case. You're not doing yourself any favors if you're losing muscle. In fact, a good indicator of health and life expectancy is lean muscle mass on your frame.